slow week this week. <laughs> so uh, we went to go see a movie we actually wanted to see. Well, I think me more than you, you're pretty on the fence. Yeah, I was like, all right, I'm down for it. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's it's kind of like a whatever for me, but it's like, oh, I want, I'm more curious about this than the drift. So, which, if, if anyone really wants me to go see the movie, I'll watch it, but I just feel like it's one that nobody will really give a shit yeah. if I missed it. It's uh, serviceable. Yeah, so it's like, I feel like it's one I don't really have much to yeah. talk about. Uh, so we can go see this one instead. The bold movie that asks the question, hey, what if the intersect from Chuck could talk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that pretty much sum it up, though? Yeah. Uh, so this is upgraded. Uh, what do you think about this one? I enjoyed it. It was kind of a nice little throwback to like old school filmmaking. How so? Um, the reliance on practicals, the idea, it, like, it's one of those things where like it felt like a fairly meta commentary on the idea of like getting too up our own ass with like technology and film. Um. I don't know about film. It did get. It, I feel like it did get a little yeah. preachy on that. And as far and like that one, I, to me, I got a little mixed yeah. message in that. It's like technology is really bad until unless it isn't. That's kind of what I got out of it. Because a lot of what saves the day up until the last ten minutes is technology. Well, to be fair, uh, we'll get into that one, but it kind of requires some spoilers. Yeah, I I know where you're going with this, but I'm yeah. saying like for for a lot of the movie, it's kind of mixed messages because it's not just the AI thing. Yeah. It's like the message from the table. It's the me it, like that leads to the next clue and so on mm -hmm. and so forth. A lot of that relies on the technology side of things, so it's kind of yeah. kind of mixed messages a bit. Uh, or you think that his technology really did doom everyone who was a, who was a centralized character in that movie? Touche. Because, uh, <laughs> rem because remember, it was, because, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll tell you more. It's like, I don't want to spoil the things this early. Yeah, fair enough. I, I did feel it like got a little, I don't want to use the word pretentious, but preachy about it at parts. A couple times, yeah. Because, like, it, it was mostly just, like, they said it like an over top like, South Park character at times, like, because you use computers and technology. Yeah. And that's yeah. not a far exaggeration from what actually was actually said. Yeah. And so I was like, that kind of leads you to like, uh, and I, I, let me find, I like this movie too. Uh, I didn't love it, but I was like, all right, for what it was, it, yeah. to me it was, it was like a sci-fi B movie. Yeah. Uh, it was definitely, it's smart, it's still smarter than some other ones have been coming out lately. Alien coming! <clears throat> Dude, that was like over a year ago. <laughs> Gotta move past that one, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, I, honestly, like, Problems. We actually been getting fairly smart uh, blockbuster movies lately, so I'm not even sure yeah. we can rely on that excuse anymore. Uh, yeah. Between, I would even argue Deadpool Two is smarter than it looks. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, no, that was uh, that movie was pretty damn meta. Yeah, and like Infinity War, also I just argue is smarter than Gift Card Four. I wouldn't say smarter, but I'd say I it said was... smarter than it gives it credit for. I didn't say it was brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Uh, I'd say, nah, it was good fun with, like, all the baselines covered, is mm -hmm. how I'd describe that movie. Um, I'm sure there's other examples. If I, if I really cared, I could look through the list and point them out. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, like, um, for me, I just, I didn't really like the main character all that much. I thought he was a douchebag. Uh, it's, it's a really well-acted douchebag. <laughs> But he's he's still a douchebag. Uh, I didn't really get that vibe. I did. Okay. <laughs> Again, mostly because he is kind of the preachy, ugh, you people and your computers, that kind of guy, and I can't stand that guy. Yeah. Uh, so I or kind of had that working against him. Again, really good performance, mm -hmm. really good actor, not knocking that in any way, yeah. shape, or form. Uh, and I'm not saying, like, I hate his guts, whereas, like, it, it, every time he kind of had the guy up to talk on his own terms, he kind of annoyed the shit out yeah. of me. It uh, didn't bug me as much, because I kind of saw him as, like, that idea of, like, what happens when someone's kind of forced to embrace what he hates. And uh, I thought it was kind of interesting but seeing... But, like, you're looking through the meta-narrative uh, yeah. angle from it. I'm looking from just strictly as the character is written. Yeah. And, and that's understandable, but, it, um... Because, like, I agree. It's, like, without the meta element... Yeah. I think it would be a lot weaker, but that's kind of a good standing on, like, how... Like, kind of a good idea of, like, how well put together everything was as a whole. Uh, and it, it is well constructed, but, again, this comes back to love. Like, we, we've kind of disagreed on this before when it comes to, like, meta-narrative versus yeah. uh, contextual dialogue. Yeah. Uh, 
Honestly, now I think about it, it's usually where I think we disagree. Well, that's when we have disagreements. That's usually where it mostly comes from, it seems. Because I'm, t- I'm thinking back to Mother, and that was mostly what that boiled down to, too. Yeah. Uh, granted, you and I are somewhere on the same page on this one than Mother, for sure. Yeah, and uh, to be fair, I still, even though I was intrigued by Mother, I still wouldn't say I necessarily liked Mother. True, but you also didn't share my passionate hate for it either. Yeah, true. Um... <laughs> uh, which apparently I was like in the I was like in the minority in my friends group on that one. I was like, mother fucking sucked. <laughs> <laughs> mother can blow me. <laughs> oh, but that's sorry, that's not Jesus-y. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, how do you feel about mother? I have no strong feelings one way or the other. Bastard! <laughs> 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 this is the internet, you can't do that now. <laughs> uh, you can't you're not allowed to say eh anymore. <laughs> Yeah. Looking at you, Star Wars fans. <laughs> anyway, that's a whole other topic. Yeah. So, um, this. I can feel that way about Rogue One. Why can't you? <laughs> because you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? Is it because you're wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I barely. Was that English? <laughs> yeah, it was just one of those stereotypical, like, nerd voices. Oh, okay, okay. Another one. Hey, it sounds like this. Okay, it's. It's. Sounded a little racist. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little racist. Maybe you just hear what Where's Muha about? when I need him? Yeah. <laughs> Muha, for once, I need you to call me out on something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, so let's let's talk about the plot of the movie. So if you, if you have no idea what this movie is, you never heard of it, basically it's... it's This thing could not have had that large of a budget. Yeah. Um, this is a low-budget, fair... I, like, this is... This is it. I, you would consider this an indie movie, wouldn't you? Um, kinda, because it's done by Blum, uh, Bloomhouse. Okay, so it's a Bloomhouse film. So yeah, they're yeah. kind of in the they're kind of in a category all their own at this point. Yeah. Uh, so it's a Bloomhouse movie about uh, a guy who's a mechanic, and yeah. I don't know what year this takes place in. Just sometime in the far f- in the future, the distant future. Yeah, the uh, year two thousand. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, <laughs> this makes me feel old. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, who? Has his wife. It's basically that makes all the money, and they live in this big fancy house, all this fancy technology. But he's like anti-technology. He doesn't want to use any of it. Yeah. Uh, it's I, maybe that's kind of bothers me too. Is I just feel like I've seen that so many times before that I was like, okay, or again, not to an I hate this extent, but so much as like, all right, this kind of feels yeah. a little done. Uh, yeah, and I can understand that. And again, like the character, I just. He's that kind of that guy in the political stands that would just really stand on their own soapbox and talk down to you for having different opinions kind of guy. Right. A little bit. Did you yeah. get that vibe too? Yeah, no, I will admit I got that vibe. <laughs> because I, like, I think that's why it like initially just rubbed me the wrong way. Like The more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm like, yeah, he did kind of come off of that soap up uh, that that soapbox guy like well here's why I don't use technology I like to use my hands remember those people those are ones that have five fingers on them yeah I use those do you you technology plebeians yeah. he's a, he, <laughs> the PC story, master race yeah long, uh, long story short the guy's a hipster yeah uh, and I don't like hipsters so maybe, yeah uh, that and happen. that's understandable so that I, definitely doesn't help yeah <laughs> uh, but long story short me. He goes into, he apparently works for this guy who apparently just really likes old mobile cars for some reason. Although he just seems antisocial. I don't, like, what kind, was it like a Knight Rider car or whatever he was making in the beginning? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not a car guy. I recognize the car, but I forget. It's like, from, like, it's, it like a, it's like from some TV show or something. If it was based on Knight Rider, that totally makes sense. Actually. Yeah, I was, I was like, oh, I was like, if it is, uh, subtle. Um, <laughs> but I was like, this is, when you meet him, he's like, if Brad Pitt and, uh... DiCaprio had a hate child. Had, had a hate child, and that hate child became obsessed with Lex Luthor. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be this character. And he, he... I found him really annoying. Uh... Yeah, I didn't... I'm gonna blame that on the acting. He was pretty... flat. Like, the writing didn't help him any, yeah. but yeah, that was mostly the actor. Um, uh, and... Same thing with the wife, actually. The wife didn't bother me, actually. Her, her, I thought her acting was pretty bland, but, I mean, she... At least she wasn't a hipster douchebag. She didn't last too long, either. Yeah, so, like, that was the case, like, whatever. I kind of... You kind of know she's dead meat anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's in the uh, fucking trailer. Oh, uh, why? Well, again, I 
I've only seen the trailer like twice, once. Or, I kind of forgot about that part. But yeah. like either way, they, you can kind of see a lot of the plot points from this movie coming a mile away. Yeah. I mean, it also uh, helps that she literally wore a red shirt. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> forgot about that. So yeah, if you can't tell already, uh, on the way back home in their fancy self-driving car, shit goes wrong and she gets killed by these robot people. Yeah. Robot house! And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the hipster douchebag becomes a quadriplegic. Because he gets uh, shot in the neck. Yeah, by a cattle prod, basically. Yeah, you remember... Basically, it was the uh, it was the electronic version of the thing from No Country for Old Men. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. You mean the air pressure tank? Yeah. Whatever it's called. Except this thing was basically... It looked like a hot glue gun that could... Yeah, anyway, either way, conspiracy, um, he gets convinced by evil, I'm just, what's, what's a good name for him, the, I'm gonna steal a line from really that bad, he, the, the evil Dr. Facebook, uh, <laughs> who, uh, tells him, and, and by the way, if you can't figure out this guy is, like, one of the bad guys from the first five seconds introduction, I, welcome to film, uh, mm -hmm. because we literally walk into, it's like his evil lair, which is underneath, like, these two cross, these two crosswalks. Are you getting a phone call right now? Uh, probably just text messages, but uh, it's not comfortable. <laughs> I, I, okay. Noted. Anyway, uh, and then he walks down this long corridor. I guess he doesn't have a door of any kind. Yeah. Uh, a great security system there, Ace. Yeah, I know. No fucking kidding. And he's just sitting there back. He has, like, bleach blonde hair, and he's making a, literally making a fucking cloud. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, what are you making for, lawn paws? What are you making, lawn paws? My cloud. Like, he's a fucking... Like, it might as well have been fucking Sephiroth standing yeah. there. <laughs> Talking about what the... Yeah, that's not that's not your cloud. Mm. It's not blonde and spiky. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a fucking twist. That would have, like... That would have caught me off guard. <laughs> like, all of a sudden, out of the car... Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. <laughs> it's like, holy shit. Oh, yeah, shit. just swinging around the Buster store. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> it'd be kind of amazing, actually. Oh, dude, seeing that martial arts that go against the Buster Sword, fuck. Yes. Um, so yeah, long story short, he gets inject. Uh, quadriplegic guy, hipster douchebag, gets injected with the chip that's supposed to basically uh, yeah, cure gray, all. Yeah, his name's yeah Gray. Yeah, Gray was his name. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling him hipster douchebag. Yeah, he gets a he gets an uh, an implant called Stem, which lets him move and turns out to be a super AI. Yeah, and then then they start going on a killing spree trying to find out who, who killed my wife. And then conspiracy stuff happens and a lot of people die. That's Yeah, and it turns out that Spoiler. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, Eric Aaron whatever the A Aaron the guy, the, um, clearly not good guy. The evil Dr. Facebook? Yeah. You find out he's not really fully evil once he, once he gets revealed that he's the guy that ordered the hit. It turns out that Stem itself is actually the evil entity. Yeah, like, I like, like, the main system that I did like about this movie, uh, the action, of course, is great. That, that yeah. stuff is really, really I good. I loved how they shot it, too. Just having, like, the camera just, like, almost be completely, like, on axis with his body. Yeah, like, the way it was shot was really clever, and, like, the action itself is really, really good. That stuff stands out really well. Yeah. Uh, cinematography's I, really good. And I'll give him credit on that double twist. That part I didn't see coming. Uh, I think I caught, I caught a whiff of it. Yeah. Uh, I didn't guess the full twist. Well, like, I knew that the AI was going to go rogue. I just didn't know that it was already ro technically rogue to begin with. Uh, I mean, like, I again, caught a whiff. Didn't really get the full scent because there was that part where he hijacks another car and it says that same error yeah. message. So, like, that uh, happened, too, and that kind of gave me the feeling. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, and you, you kind of knew the AI was going to go rogue at some point because, again, I, I've seen this kind of story before when it all comes down to it. Yeah. Um... But yeah, so like I and I like the ending. Yeah. Uh, I do like okay. It's been a while since I've seen a downer ending in a movie. So, yeah, uh, and it was one of those. Bitter, I mean, outside of Infinity yeah, War, it was kind of a bittersweet one. Uh, <laughs> More yeah. bitter than sweet, just mm. saying. Yeah, uh, it's, it's basically how the darkness ended. <laughs> yeah, basically the, the AI. Game, yeah. yeah, the AI kills everyone. And then walks um, away controlling the body. Yep. Whereas, and Gray's basically in his own little fantasy section in his mind because he tried to resist to save the cop played by what's her face from Walking Dead. That's where she was from. Okay, that was bugging me. Yeah, I can't uh, remember her name. Uh, all I remember is that she was, uh, I think, Tyrese's sister. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 It's been a long time since I've watched Walking Dead. I kind of stopped a yeah. while back. Same uh, here. 
Um, but oh. yeah, so bad guy wins. That's basically how the movie ends. Which yeah. is like, you know what? I haven't seen it in a while. I mean, I'm not yeah. including Infinity War in that because that's a part one. Yeah. Uh, like, as far as I know, this is not going to get a sequel. Yeah. So. Fun fact, they were originally going to save that for part two. Uh, glad like, they didn't. Yeah. Glad they didn't. Um, but hey, well, wow, that would have been like the most downer opening of a movie ever. <laughs> so, yeah. Because do it to the end of the first one. Leave everyone devastated. Yeah. Uh, but hey, you. Now that's how you do a cliffhanger. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> as long as you make aware, there will be a fucking part two. Yeah. <laughs> that's just how the MCU ends. Everyone mm -hmm. dies. The end. Yeah. I love how so many people seem to forget that the thing was like meant to be a tw two parter. Because it was like, it's like this whole thing was just a set of a part two. It's like, yeah. We knew that coming in because we knew it was a two-parter five years ago. <laughs> it's like, have you seen Solo yet? No, but I think I got spoiled. Uh, which, which, oh, right, because I, I confirm or deny nothing. <laughs> yeah, but I saw a meme that more or less confirmed my suspicions. Oh, uh, okay, all right, well, either way, send me off camera. Uh, yeah. but there, there is a, uh... There is a Han shot first moment. I heard about that. Yeah, and you can practically hear the everyone like everyone in the theater go like Han shot first, Han shot first. Like we all came to the same realization. The point was like I know. <laughs> By the time yeah. like the gossip train comes to you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's it's the same kind of thing with this movie. Mm -hmm. um, and I lost the train of thought, so I forget where I was going with that. But I, anyway, yeah. I'm tired. Yeah, uh, it's been a long fucking week. Yeah, uh, but, uh, just long story short. Yeah, great action, great acting from the main central character. Really funny at times, very darkly yeah. so. Uh, I just wish there was more of it. Yeah, uh, I thought it was pretty lean. I kind of appreciated that. Uh, but, but like, problems like that was the most interesting thing in the movie, and it's kind of sparse compared to a story that I can see most of the beats coming. Yeah, and I'm not terribly invested in. Yeah. Um. So like, and again, like, I thought the movie was good, but I think it could have been great if it like kind of went the John Wick route and just really lean into what it knows it's good at. Yeah. Um. Rather than try to get this whole anti-technology message down my throat. Yeah. Um. Uh, in a way, like symbolism, not not nearly that bad. Mm -hmm. Uh. Like this isn't mother bad as far as like showing yeah, the message no, they, down your I throat. I thought they were pretty fair about it. I mean, for the most part in this. I guess it has bugged me more than you because I just don't like those archetypes and I just, yeah. I feel like I've just seen that story before a no, lot. I, uh, no, and I agree with that. It's just, it's the way that they kind of twisted it that I think made it a bit more interesting than it should have been. Oh, uh, fair enough. Because, um, I mean, like I said, it had a pretty interesting meta narrative. The idea that like everything kind of was meant to prop it up. Mm -hmm. And as we said, you know, you talk about the whole fact that technology kind of saved days like, well, not really. If anything, it just led him down that, down to that finale where he kind of realized, no, he was fucked from the get-go. Mm, fair enough. All right, you, they, you've convinced me. I'll concede the point. <laughs> uh, yeah. just, uh, well, at least I'm glad they kind of answered that question. Why would you do this if you knew it would lead back to you? I was going to win anyway. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I had to get rid of all the loose ends, so... Yeah. So it's a Heavenly Rain twist we're going with here, basically. Yeah. Except I still think this pulled it off better than Heavy Rain did. Uh, I liked Heavy Rain. No, I uh, loved Heavy Rain, uh, but the twist was bullshit. I was okay with it. Honestly, I liked the twist. Uh, yeah. But then again, it's been a long time since I played it. I, I do not know if, it's, if it would held up, hold up now yeah. if I replayed it. Uh, I know you have to do a lot of dark things to get the... Uh, Perfect crime ending. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, have you played Detroit yet? I've only played the demo. I really want Detroit though. Okay, like I, I'm, I'm kind of waiting for it to go on sale. Yeah. Um, but anyway, or I mean, you like, can get the deluxe edition and get Heavy Rain to come with it. <laughs> I don't want to spend eighty bucks <laughs> or how much that costs. Something like that. Uh, I'm trying to save money for Comic Con next month. <laughs> yeah, just like I gotta save money for. E3. Yay! Like, like I just spent I, sp I just spent two hundred dollars getting parking spots. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention six hundred for the hotel, and that, like that still leaves me spending money to deal with. Which you know I'm gonna find room for my apartment for stuff. Right. Eventually I'm just got to move because I just run out of room for stuff. <laughs> it's like, dude, we gotta move. Why? I we don't have any room for this stuff. Is it really that important? Yes. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I mean, I don't really have a whole lot to say about this, because uh, I thought it was good. It just, it, but for me, it was just like, could have been better. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. Uh, for me, I'd say it was a. If it had more interesting characters and a plot, I gave more of a shit about. Maybe I would have been yeah. gotten more into it. But 
Cause... I found a new way to do that, by the way. Yeah, you told me about the switch. I know, but it still goes off automatically, but if I, turn, I don't have to open the door anymore. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm learning. Uh, yeah, I'd say for me, it's somewhere between a six and a seven. Okay, that... I'd probably lean more towards a six category. Yeah. Um, for me, again, because I just like... With some just some tweaking of the writing, some better character work, and again, a few, a couple extra action seats probably couldn't hurt. Because again, that is the yeah. strong. That is like, say what you will about Hardcore Henry, they knew what to stick to. Yeah. Uh, uh, that at the same time, I do kind of appreciate. You know, they were trying to only use it when necessary. Like they weren't trying to be superfluous. They felt like it, you know it was trying to like. Use action when it serves the story. But the story's not that good. Uh, Fair enough. And like, again, in a better story, and like me and a couple rewrites, you can justify that. But when, yeah. what, when everyone else, everything else in the movie hinges on been there, done that material, yeah. with, with two, uh, at least one out of two plot twists you can see come from a mile away. Yeah. Um, it, it's... You just it's more like, okay, everything that's keeping me engaged is only interspersed sparingly and is it just becomes boring after that. Yeah. That be yeah, and I agree. Like I would have liked more action, but at the same time the stuff they had was good. And that I agree. Yeah. <laughs> that I agree. Okay. Uh, Especially it, just I because just yeah, it's like the way that like I said, just the way you know, we discussed the way he moves, the way they shoot it. Mm -hmm. It did get a little choppy here and there, but for the most part, they gave some pretty good focused moments and just like the way he's like snapping, just yeah. Like I, I felt like the final fight with what was his name, uh, Fisk. Fisk got a little too Matrixy. Uh, it was still good. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's more of a nitpick. Yeah, I acknowledge that but... one. Also, kind of made sense for me too, just because like it was the whole fact that you know like they're no narratively it made sense. Yeah. Uh... Um. And it was kind of interesting seeing like an almost equal fight going on. Mm -hmm. as, as, again, but it comes back to like a lot of the fight scenes up to that point were pretty unique, and yeah. I, that's and again, what's that's the movie I saw recently? Kind of the third Hobbit movie did this. Which one? The third Hobbit movie. Mm. And that's why I didn't. I hated that movie. Uh, is because like up to that point, I was seeing things in Lord of the Rings I haven't seen before. So even if it wasn't great, I was still engaged because like okay. I haven't seen this as a Lord of the Rings movie before. I'm kind of into it. And yeah. then Thor was like, okay, it's every other fucking Lord of the Rings movie I've ever seen. That's uh, why I didn't even bother with it, because I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and that's why the third one sucks. But the first two are passable. Like, they're not yeah. great, but they, I will say they're passable. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed the first one. second one was okay, and then... I like yeah. the second one for Bandit Cumberbatch. Huh? I like the second one for Bennett Carbadge. Oh, he was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know that one, it's like, it depends on who you talk to. You. Like, f some people like the story for the first one more. People like the fact that stuff actually happened in the second one more. The first one's more visually interesting. Yeah. I agree on that, as far as that goes. Like, there's more color. There's more, like, more environments. There's more yeah. kind of just, it's 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 just people walking around the world and just shit that happens in yeah. that world. And I kind of appreciate that fact about the first one. Yeah. We can yeah. all agree they probably could have done it in one, maybe two movies. Two at the max. Exactly. The third was a complete waste of time. <laughs> yeah. And the only new thing was the fucking ground worms, and they never fucking used them beyond that point. <laughs> which, to this day, still pisses me off. Like, you could have ended the fight in a snap with your giant fucking people eating worms <laughs> <laughs> well i think we've also talked about the movie uh movie <laughs> yeah. in long enough so should we go to trailers <laughs> yeah uh we never go on tangents on this show anyway uh <laughs> yeah let me see uh first trailer we got was for <sighs> uh, ant-man and the wasp uh, sorry just <laughs> a friend of mine uh wasn't too keen on Resident Evil for the game for the GameCube. Wait, what? My friend of mine wasn't super keen on Resident Evil for the GameCube. Like the very first one, or like Resident or Evil Four, uh, uh, two, three, uh, Resident Evil Two and Three. Those ones. Oh, uh, I never played those. Um. Anyway, he just like he's like, whoa, hold up. You know the fact they added a um yeah after I looked at this feature of previous ports, GameCube finally allowed for both uh, CG and in-game cutscenes to be skipped by pressing the start button. Ari on CG on GameCube is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you can skip the fucking cutscenes; it's great. Uh, that's not a good sign for your game. Uh, oh, like one more point before we get to uh, trailers. Sure. Uh, one point I want to make about like kind of balancing story with the action. Let, let's look at the John Wick two, the John Wick sequel. Yeah, I think it's a great example of how to do it right. Mm -hmm. Because what John Wick did with the first with like those movies, it established a world you want to know more about. Yeah. 
Um, uh, and, and, and like so, like the second one did a very smart thing where it spent like a good chunk of the first half with very little action, a lot of it was just uh, world building and yeah. ramping up the story. Uh, but when it delivered action, knew what delivered to the action and how to do it. Yeah. That was a masterfully crafted mixture of story and action. That was an example of where I felt like it kind of went a little bit out of whack, at least compared to the first one. Like not 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 to a bad degree. It's just um, like, I felt like it felt a little bit imbalanced with how. It was, but I think delivered. it still works. It's got it's a world you want to know about. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I uh, agree with that. And like, so you can get away with that in a movie like this. And in a movie like this, they could have made a more interesting world, and they had the baseline do because that that technology was interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, like the cars were cool. Like all this, like the weird skyscrapers, all like those weird little forests in the middle of it. That was cool. Yeah. And if they explored more of that, and they went into more of the world. Mm -hmm. You could have pulled off like less action sequences, but yeah. they don't do that. A majority of the movie takes place in the ghetto, uh, which again, been there, done that. Yeah. Uh, so it's not it's not visually interesting enough, and the world's not interesting enough, and the story's not interesting enough to keep me engaged. So the the lack of action seems more apparent. Right. If that yeah. makes sense. No, that's fair. And there's this there was a whole thing with the hacker who says we can't let them win, but we never find out who them are. I'm assuming them actually what uh, I assume that was a reference to what's their fucking faces the company that evil McDouchebag did uh, I mean the evil doctor Facebook yeah I just like saying that yeah. <laughs> um, or I, I don't know yeah. it, it felt like just like one of those things I like implying a bigger conspiracy yeah that being said, though, I that is the other thing. I feel like they are setting up for a potential sequel. They could if they wanted to. Yeah. Uh, and I would be interested to see how they would explore everything after that. Um, I don't know, like, if they took more advantage of the world they have, maybe, maybe I'd want to see a second one. Uh, or they just double down on what they have. I don't know. I, I'd be want to have to see. Uh, yeah. But anyway, that was the last point I want to make. So, trailers, yeah. First one we got was for Ant-Man and the Wasp. This is the new trailer. Mm -hmm. uh, no, speaking was... of action sequences I haven't seen quite before, this that... one looks pretty cool. No, that one's uh, st the trailer they've been showing. The one they showed the new trailer no, this, for was this Mission second Impossible. One. No, no, no. This, this, I, as, I haven't seen this one in theaters very often. This was released like, like a month ago. Uh, it's the first time I've seen this one in theaters. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know about you, but this is the first one I time I've yeah. seen this one in theaters. Yeah, uh, no, I've, I haven't seen it around. But oh, uh, yeah, some. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping it's good. I think it's gonna be good. Yeah, I have no reason to think it's not gonna be good. Yeah, I think at the very least it'll be entertaining. And that's because <laughs> it's like because I'm you just need saying a palate cleanser, man. It doesn't yeah. have to be deep and dark. I'm just saying it as a fan, you know, as someone who wasn't a big fan of the first one. I like the first yeah. one. I mean, no, I know I'm I know I'm in the minority for that one. I mean, like, the first Amon's not going to be anyone's top ten Marvel list, but for what it was, it was like, you know, it was an entertaining romp. Mm -hmm. It had unique action, the visuals were good, um, the characters were likable. I mean, the friends kind of annoyed me after a while. Um, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, Michael Pena can only make the same joke so many times. Yep. Um, but the second one, I think, this one feels more confident than the first one, Dig. Probably because it, yeah. I think, has a better idea what it wants to be going into it. And I also like that for a refreshing change of pace, the main villain does not have the same set of powers as the heroes. Yeah. Uh, it's actually very, very different. So I'm, gonna, I'm curious to see how they're going to, like, balance that, how it's going to play off each other. And it looks, and again, it looks like they're having a lot of fun with the visuals. Yeah. Um, so, like, stuff like that. But makes will me... they ever beat the Thomas the Tank Engine? We already have the giant Hello Kitty pest dispenser. <laughs> That's true. Oh my god, you're right. This is the second trailer. Christ. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, I was like, I couldn't even remember the teaser off the top of my head. I was like, oh yeah. Yeah. Now I remember. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, it's going to see Evangeline Lily actually be able to do something in this one too, so. Yeah. So that's gonna be nice. Uh, so I'm excited for that one. That's gonna, I think that's gonna be good. Mm hmm. Then we, then we did get the new mission. Uh, the new trailer for Mission Impossible. Yeah. Which, it's a Mission Impossible, you know what you're gonna get. Yep. Uh, and the last ones have been pretty consistently good. I'm just putting my keys like I gotta yeah, try my damn phone. Really, the only one that hasn't been super gr that wasn't really great was the second one. I know some people argue the third one wasn't great, but I just like the third one. Yeah. Um, it was, it wasn't amazing, but it was, it was decent. Uh, I mean, um, it, I had some best, Tom Cruise's best acting. Yeah. The, uh, the, the countdown good. scene, yeah, yeah, fucking great scene. Um, so yeah, I'm 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 excited for this one. And again, I'm 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 slightly obsessed with Henry Cavill in this one. So yeah. <laughs> mustache Cavill versus Tom Cruise, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> My, like like, what if Superman had like 
what if Superman fucked Rocky? That's kind of what it feels like Henry Cavall is in this one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and like, it's, it's it's refreshing to see just a straight up brawler, not kung fu person, in one yeah. of these movies. So what? Yeah. What if Superman was Golden Age Superman? <laughs> 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 Fine, Muhammad Ali. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> uh, then we got the first purge. We've talked about this. Yeah. Move on. Uh, then we got a. Is, was this a new trailer for Sicario too? Yeah, because like they're really playing up the action movie angle. I'm not happy here. I mean, I guess the first one kind of did too. And no, was, it was much more. It had mu that much more sinister feel in those trailers. This one just felt yeah. like it was trying to be an action movie. It was like, that's not okay, that's not the first Sicario. I, I was like, now I'm concerned. I like the other trailers showed it to be more like the first one, but I am still bugged out as to why Benicio del Toro is so against killing this kid of his enemy, even though he's had no problem doing that before. Uh, well, to be fair, this could, this could actually get some words in this time. <laughs> True. So you know. No, it, it's it's the Mike Wazowski principle. No, if you get named to it, then you get attached to it. Now put that thing back where it came from, or so help me, fine, bam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, speaking of Superman, I just remember a couple of the jokes. Uh, I, I'm a little oh. worried about repeating those jokes. Oh, wah, oh, wah, wah. I know, I'm... I'm I don't know, we're making a big marketing push next year, so I'm a little worried. It's like, oh, great, this joke's going to go back to haunt me. Fuck it, let's do it. Uh, so... I'm going to a special hell for this. I acknowledge All that. All say is, South Park did it, South Park did it. Uh, so when he becomes a paraplegic and he's rolling around in the wheelchair, I could... I, I, like, if I don't know if you saw it, but the thought hit my head, I went... Oh God! I saw it, and then I thought I have to tell Grant this. So I leaned over and he go like, "I guess I'm really Superman now." <laughs> <laughs> and my brain just went, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" And then you followed the other South Park joke. Oh yeah, when he was able to move his hands again, and he just goes, "Call me Chris." <laughs> <laughs> oh, watch it. What, uh, what was it? What was the robot's name again? Stem. Stem. <laughs> it's like, Stem, you must open the package. Why? What's in it? Just open the package. Why? You must drink the stem. <laughs> I don't want to! You no longer have control over this body. No! I'm doing my cell research. <laughs> God, this is dark. <laughs> Uh, there's another joke I made during the movie. I just can't remember what the hell it was. Oh, I'll come to you. Yeah. Uh... But yeah, then we got the darkest minds. Yeah. <laughs> Said, that's which we've also talked about. It looks stupid. Next, I was like, is that already gaining your views? How? How is? Why, why do they trust that to get like early release to critics? I don't know why. Uh, then we got the Meg. I'm kind of looking forward to that one. This is I. <laughs> I have an idea of how I want it to end. I told this to Howard. I'm going to repeat it to you because you need to hear it. Is like how I want it to end. Is I want at one point to have uh, Jason Statham somehow have like, maybe he's in a helicopter, maybe he's got like a rock, uh, RPG, with some kind of explosive device. And I want it to pop out of the water and make the roar that the shark did in Jaws 4. And as it's doing that, I want him to go, shut up, Meg. And then it's boom. <laughs> <laughs> and I want that to be the last line of the movie, right before the shark dies. And that is, that's how I hope. It's probably not going to end that way, but it'd be great if it did. Yeah. <laughs> Just something, any, honestly, anything over the top where Jason, uh, Jason Statham has one last line in, I'm going to be happy with it. Yeah. Um, your thoughts on Meg? That looks like some good, dumb fun. Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure Cliff Curtis is going to be the first one to get his head eaten off when the shark jumps out of the mm. water. Yeah, like, I, I was wondering, like, how big is this thing, really? Because it seems kind of fluctuate throughout the trailer. Yeah. Because I just feel like it's... it's. I was I was imagining, like, the shark as the whale and the people as the krill from Finding Nemo. <laughs> Swim away! <laughs> oh, look, krill! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that, look, that looks like cheesy fun, man. And then we got a trailer for Black K Klansman. Oh, uh, yes, Black that Klansman. That looks in. Adam Driver's on a fucking roll right now. Yeah. He's actually making good choices. Good for him. Good for him. Before he joined Star Wars, he seemed like very much just niche romantic comedy guy. 
The only thing I knew before that was girls. He was also in What If. Don't even know what that is. It was like a Daniel Radcliffe romantic comedy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it kind of came and went and forgot about it. Um, Just like girls. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know what Girls is. So you get... It's some HBO TV show. Oh, it's... yeah. Yeah, I. there's a reason people don't want to remember it. That bad, huh? No, it's more like because everyone's turned on Lena Dunham. Uh... Yeah, it makes it more understandable now that you know. It's about as popular a statement as, you know what, Roseanne wasn't that bad. <laughs> 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 You know this Roseanne chick? She's going places after this revival. Yep, to the poorhouse. I feel so bad for John Goodman. <laughs> oh, that reminds you, you heard about these possible spinoff, right? I did hear about that, yeah. Because yeah, like I guess they're just trying desperately to milk this money train. It's uh, like, it's like, we feel, it's like, we like Roseanne, just <laughs> not Roseanne. It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> what they're trying to do is they're just trying to get the dick to go hard again. Like, no, baby, don't baby, stay with me, stay with me. <laughs> no, 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 think of sexy things. <laughs> think of sexy things. Money, lots of There you go. <laughs> oh, God. oh, God, no, sorry. Just, I'm just imagining money shooting out. <laughs> And they're like, oh, it's, it's, it's like no, those slot machines in Vegas. Worse. No, then when I thought that's like, oh, God, the paper cuts. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Ow. Wake up the next morning like, how do you get all those cuts on your face? Uh... <laughs> hey, is your urethra still intact? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Start walking to work the next way. Ka-ching, 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 ka-ching. <laughs> My God. No wonder she died. She has thousands of lacerations in her throat. <laughs> <laughs> How'd she die? Nickel poisoning. <laughs> I'm, now I'm just imagining like the slot machines in Vegas. You know, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> God, they should, be they should be bludgeoned to death. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how'd she die? Premature ejaculation. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, this took a turn. Anyway. <laughs> Man, we were we're as far oh, away from Klansmen as we can get. So <laughs> but which so, boy can't wait for that same if taken out of context. Like just after our little conversation, I just imagine, man, that really changed the context of that of that Spectre short film. Oh, the DC gosh. animated one. Oh god. I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> And that's like my favorite DC short too. Oh, that one is awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, like that one, the Joan Hex one's really good too. Mm -hmm. um, but anywho, uh, I did finally watch the Adam West Batman's by the, uh, the first one anyway. I got the second one. I still got. I still haven't seen that one. I rented the first one. I I, I took a hype. I gotta buy it because they don't let me rent it for some reason. I still need to watch the first one too. But yeah, we can watch the second one. Yeah, Blu-ray. Yeah, the first one has him just quoting the Dark Knight Returns at one point. It's kind of great. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get on with the trailer. All right. <laughs> Sorry, uh, we, uh... Yeah, we... So, that was Black K Klansman. <laughs> Money, Money sperm. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but that one looks good. <laughs> it looks like a good movie. Liquid assets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Now you're really using your imagination. <laughs> so yeah, uh, last trailer. What's the last trailer? Was a sequel that nobody wanted and nobody asked for. Oh, oh. Cause of course Unfriended's getting a fucking sequel. And it's not supernatural for some reason, so why call it Unfriended? Because it's all it's all still using Skype for some reason. In a way, that still makes no fucking sense. Yeah, it's like, if you hang up or disconnect, we'll kill you. You're killing them anyway! It makes no sense to me. It's like, well, what if I just call the police right now? Even if I die, they're still gonna know some, some shit is up. What's the plan here? Yeah. And it looks really stupid. Yeah, yeah. Just like the first one, which, uh... That was you and me that saw that one, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. I'm probably going to have to join for this one. <laughs> I'm sorry. On the bright side, at least you have movies to talk about this year, and you're on the worst list. Yeah. 
<laughs> Let's, we got we got to get up your you got up your list, man. I mean, last last year you totally I was just missed out. Yeah, but, I was mostly just busy. Yeah, I got I'm it. Still busy. <laughs> just tell me about it. Um, oh yeah, that was the last trailer. So any final thoughts for um, upgraded? Definitely check it out. Uh, a lot of fun. Um, this pretty, is more of a rental for me. Yeah. Um, or matinee. It's those things where like it's definitely. Even if the story's been there, done that, it's the way they approach it. It's definitely, it's smarter than some of the other ones, and definitely helps elevate a bit. It's like not amazing, but it's a pretty solid. It's a solid little sci-fi flick. Um. Okay. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm. It might be one of those scenes where it's it's one of those ones you're gonna definitely look up the fight scenes on YouTube when it comes out on Blu-ray. Um. <laughs> uh, but outside the action sequences, everything else is kind of meh, kind of forgettable. Uh, outside of some of the tech, mm. but I don't know. I thought it was pretty uh, pretty funny throughout too. It had a I lot mean, like of dark humor. But again, stuff. a lot of those were in the action scenes. That is true. Uh, I'm talking like outside of the action scenes. There's not a whole lot here uh, when you break it down. Right. Like it, it's like I just saw. This, come to think of it, I saw this exact story, ver fucking batum in Death Wish. Mm -hmm. Just earlier this year. Yeah. Um. So, like, again... Yeah, like, and like I was saying, it's like, it's less the actual narrative, more just, like, how they use it to kind of, like, approach the whole technology subject, as well as kind of, like, have that meta-narrative about... Yeah, I guess I just found the meta-narrative kind of obnoxious. Mm. Uh, so I guess it just depends on your personal opinions yeah. on technology and all that stuff. Um, I tend to get really annoyed... I, for me, personally, I get really fucking annoyed when it's like, oh, you kids today, social media, like, like blaming the newest whatever on all of social, like, the society's woes, like, bullshit. Yeah. Uh, I hate that argument. I can't stand that argument. It holds no ground. We actually analyze the fucking argument. Yeah. Because 90% of the time, it's like, these problems have always existed. We're just more aware of them now. <laughs> I don't think it... That's the thing. I don't think it was a matter of saying like technology necessarily. Oh, that, that's that's me more bitching about oh, modern day okay. trends more. Never mind. Me, more yeah. than commenting on the meta narrative. Yeah, because uh, me it was more more the idea of like just don't put all your stock into it. That, like, that, no, that was me going on my soapbox. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I, I'm gonna whole rant about that. I'm, I'm gonna save you all the pain and fr frustration of me going shut the fuck up already, <laughs> uh, and just say yeah if it's like. If it's the kind of things your bag, then you'll like it fine. Um, but yeah, for me, it's a rental or a matinee. But I, I don't know if I'd pay full price for it. Yeah. But, um. So yeah, yeah, it's not. It's not. Yeah, it's not gonna be on any like best picture list. No, no, no. Like, it's, it's, like I didn't hate it. I just thought it was good, but could have been better. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Uh. So yeah, that was it. So this later this week or next week, I should say. I got Ocean's 8, I gotta see, which is doing better than I thought it would, critically. Mm -hmm. It's like 71 right now. Uh, Hereditary's out. I'm excited for that one. So that'll be good to go see. But you're gonna be E3. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it might be one of those ones that put off till next week, because we get so, such a busy week, so maybe. Yeah. I'm one of them. Uh, and then there's the... Uh, I want to go check out the Mr. Rogers... I really want to see that one too. Jasmine probably will not let me. Yeah, watch I was just gonna it. say because I know Jazz wants to go see it too. Yeah. So that like that one's only playing in Palo Alto right now, so we might wait, we might have to wait till that one goes wider. Right. Uh, unless it doesn't, which I I feel like it would. It will. Yeah. So that one I might have to wait a couple weeks on. Uh, <clears throat> and then whatever else comes, out. I think there's like one more I'm forgetting. <clears throat> well, let's see what's playing here. That'll help narrow it down. So yeah, Hereditary. Oh, Hotel Artemis. I actually do want to see that one. I'm curious so, about it. Yeah. So I that, heard that one's uh, fun. So for sure, we do want to check out at the very least Ocean's Eight and Hotel Artemis. Uh, Hereditary, if not this week, probably next week. Yeah. Oh, that one's got another couple big movies in there, so probably if you can get over with it, you get best too. Because that one's yeah. next week is like Tag and Incred The Incredibles too. Right. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back on the because I'm leaving on the 10th. I'll be back on the 15th. It figures you leave on the day where like all the good movies come out. Yeah. Um, Damn you, game conference. I know. How <laughs> dare you go explore new games that none of us are going to get hands on for a long time. Uh, how fucking dare you? You going to play Super Smash Bros.? Ugh, you should be here so we can watch Hereditary. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it, guys. I think we're both tired. We both want to go home. So, yeah. thank you guys for watching. See you later. Later.